Hello and welcome to the Dave Trumbo Coaches Show. I'm Greg Royce, joined now with Dave Trumbo, head coach of the women's volleyball team. And coach, you opened up your season last week at Salisbury at the Seagull Invitational. And you were able to go 4-0. and Talk a little bit about first just a little overview of the tournament, how you guys played. Well, I thought our preseason went really, really well, Greg. Uh, we put a, we got a lot of uh, opportunities to play, a, a, a lot of combinations. The rules have changed a little bit, so we had one more scrimmage this year, which was uh, which was fantastic. And uh, to hang up, you know, four wins that first weekend, we certainly – it's nice to have – we didn't plan that that happening because there were some great quality teams, uh, especially Swarthmore and uh, Salisbury that we played on Saturday back-to-back with about a 45-minute break. Uh, so we were very happy, and we just felt like the longer the girls play together, the better they got. Yeah. Talk a little bit. Obviously, um, on Friday, you played Madai and Geneva, and on Saturday, you played Swarthmore and Salisbury. Um, Friday night, you got a chance to have everybody play. I think everybody but one person played on Friday. What does it mean to get everybody into a game early and to get everybody some game experience? Well, I thought it was great. You know, I, I, anytime I can get that, I'll, you know, I'll take it. And Madai was a great opportunity to do that. Everybody got some game time. A lot of freshmen got their first kills, their first blocks, you know, their first assists, yep. you know, what, what have you. And so that was a great opportunity. And followed that, Geneva was a little bit better yep. uh, than Madai. We didn't play particularly well, but I thought the third set, we did start to uh, gain a little traction, a little momentum going into Swarthmore, who was getting more votes for the top 25 than we were. Yeah. And they returned their whole team back. They went to China uh, yeah. for an international trip. So they had been playing for quite a while. So we thought that was going to be a real challenge. And, you know, that first set against Swarthmore, we were winning 17-6. to six yeah. And we ended up winning in 30-28. Had we lost that one set? It could have been a completely different look. Because when you win 17 right. 6, you better win. And had we not won that first set, it would have been devastating. So we were able to then um, really compete well with uh, Swarthmore and then going into Salisbury. And that's always a huge rivalry for us, yeah. the two SUs. Yeah. Yeah, obviously a rivalry going back to the Capital Athletic Conference days. And, you know, 3 1 win and, you know, capped off a 4 0 weekend with that win over the Seagulls. Yeah, and you know, to my recollection, that's the first time we've been able to beat Salisbury on their home floor. Uh, we've beaten them in the NCAA before. We've beaten them uh, at a tournament, uh, but we had actually lost two in a row. They had beaten us in tournaments the last two years. Um, two years ago, we played them twice in back-to-back weekends, and one time we won, one time we lost. So that's a really competitive program, and that's what we want to do the first weekend. We want to play the top teams, and, and Salisbury was a very formidable opponent, but we served the ball extremely well, and I believe that three of our girls were in double-digit kills, so the kills were spread out. Yeah, that's one of the things I noticed. Look at the box scores this weekend. You had a lot of balance, um, you know, not just, you know, the usual suspects stepping up, but obviously Lauren Weaver had a couple of great matches. Um, just talk about, you know, to have that balance, what it means, you know, especially early on. Well, the first off, the confidence factor. I mean, Katie Leffridge, who was really playing her first time, she's a sophomore, played mm-hmm. some last year, but not a lot. Yeah. So she was she was playing six rotations, and she had a great weekend and mm-hmm. passed the ball very well. Uh, and then the fact that if, if one of our players does not have a good day, the other people can pick up the slack. Right. So with Mariah and Lauren and Annika, you know, they were both in, in double-digit kills, and they can't sit on any one person. You know, and, and actually, it was... Um, Deanna Bradbury and Annika, were, who were all tournament, yeah. uh, Deanna just passed the ball phenomenally, and you know, and Doug and uh, just set up everything for mm-hmm. us. All right, obviously you faced some tough competition last weekend. Tomorrow night you get right back at it. Um, Matt Commonwealth Conference opener against an old friend, Messiah. Um, talk a little bit about that match, a rematch of uh, the last five Commonwealth Conference championship matches. That's tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, Messiah is always a challenge, um, and uh, this year is no different. Having to play them very first uh, conference match, it can be a really good thing. It can be a bad thing. Mm-hmm. If we can, if we can get a W, it kind of sets up the rest. But if we can't, then we're going to have to make up some time. Uh, getting them on our home court, I think that's a plus. Uh, that's a plus for us. Uh, but I have a lot of respect for the Messiah coach, and I know it's going to be a great match. Then this weekend you have to Muhlenberg, um, play some more quality competition up there. Um, just a little preview of what can expect this weekend up there. Well, again, we all our matches are back-to-back. So we go up there and we play SUNY Cortland at 5, and we turn around and play the host Muhlenberg at 7. <laughs> uh, and they're probably the two of the strongest teams that are there. Uh, we get Newman and Virginia Wesleyan, who are both good 
uh, are very good teams. Uh, so, again, good competition, and uh, it's a chance for us to grow as a team um, and to be consistent in putting wins together. Great, Coach. Well, thanks a lot for your time. Uh, we'll see you Wednesday night right here at Owens Mills Gymnasium. We hope we see everybody come out. Let's have a great atmosphere. For Dave Trumbo, I'm Greg Royce, and this has been the Dave Trumbo Show.